One of our most popular products at laugh to learn is a presentation called Difficult Conversations. Some of our clients uh, like it as a keynote address and others prefer it as a breakout. However it's presented, it's usually pretty popular. The issue I'd like to talk to you about today is the idea of perception. In dealing with human behavior, perception is everything. Objective reality is relatively unimportant or perhaps totally unimportant. To illustrate this point, I usually ask the participants in the group if they believe that the world is round. Not too long ago, when I asked a group of people if they thought the world was round, almost everyone agreed. But one gentleman uh, refused to agree that the world was round. And he seemed rather adamant about it. He sat with his arms folded, a scowl on his face, and as everyone else was raising their hand in agreement that the world was round, he sat just like this. And I walked up to him and I said, Sir, do you not believe the world is round? And he said, Do you mean spherical? Ah, I said, you must be an engineer. And he laughed and said, Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Another engineer just down the uh, row a bit from him said, as a matter of fact, it's an oblique sphere. Now here's something important about perception. Our perception, or our reality, is colored by the sum of our experiences. For an engineer, the difference between a sphere and a disk is essential. For me, social science by background, Sphere, schmear, round, schmound, I can go with it. But for an engineer, the difference between a sphere and a disk is essential. And the difference between an oblique sphere and a perfect sphere is the difference between a machine that works and one that burns itself up. If you doubt that your experiences, your background, your life that values uh, has anything to do with your perception, Try watching a basketball game with a fan of the other team. Even after instant replay, we're going to disagree on whether it was a blocking foul or a charge. So perception is colored by our experiences. But the point I like to make with the world being round is that so long as people perceived it to be flat, that's how they behaved. They didn't sell, sail too far from land for fear of sailing off the edge. Their perception was their reality. And thus it is with perception in difficult conversations. Now you can be sure, if you have a disagreement, that your perception of the problem is different from the other person's perception of the problem. You may also be sure that she or he does not see this as a perception, but as reality. And you see your perception as reality. That's why, when you begin a difficult conversation, it is essential that you present your position as your perception, not as reality. If you say you are, you're going to hear, I am not even before you finish what you were going to say someone was. But if you say, it seems to me that, or I perceive that, we can have a much more successful conversation if we acknowledge that our perception is just that, our perception of the problem. As a matter of fact, I sometimes suggest that it's wiser to begin by finding out the other person's perception before we even present ours. It seems there's a problem between us. What do you think the problem is? Because the person who has information is really better off than the one without. So, if you know you're going to have a difficult conversation, you should prepare to deliver your perception of the problem as just that. Not reality, but your perception. And you never present your perception without inviting your conversational partner to present her or his perception as well. I believe if you do this, 
you will find that your difficult conversations, while still difficult, may be somewhat less difficult.